Question 1. Name some of the various methods of traction motor control. Answer. Rheostatic control. Hyrister control. Metal dyne control. Buck and boost method. Series parallel control. Field control. Question 2. What are the basic requirements of a braking system? Answer. The basic requirement of a braking system is given below. Easy to use for driver to operate. It should be inexhaustible. The maintenance should be a minimum. It should be simple, quick, robust and reliable in action. Kinetic energy of the train be storage during braking which could be used subsequently during acceleration of the train. Question 3. What are the various methods of applying electric traction? Answer. There are three methods of applying electric braking. They are plugging or reverse current braking, rheostatic braking, regenerative braking. Question 4. Give some of advanced methods of speed control of traction motors. Answer. Tap changer control, thyristor control, chopper control, microprocessor control. Question 5. What are the advantages of microprocessor-based control of traction motors? Answer. High speed of response, high accuracy, over voltage and over speed protection, electronic interlocking, less sensitive to temperature variations and drift numbers of components used are less. Question 6. Define dead weight and adhesive weight. Answer. Dead weight. The total weight of locomotive and train to be pulled by the locomotive is known as dead weight adhesive weight. The total weight to be carried on the driving wheels is known as the adhesive weight. Question 7. What is tractive effort? Answer. The effective force necessary to propel the train at the wheels of the locomotive to which the motor is geared is called the tractive effort. It is measured in newtons and is tangential to the driving wheels. Total tractive effort required to run a train on track equals tractive effort to produce acceleration plus tractive effort to overcome effort of gravity plus tractive effort to overcome train resistance. Question 8. Define electric drives. Answer. Systems employed for motion control are called as drives and drives employ any of the prime movers such as diesel or petrol engines, gas or steam turbines, hydraulic motors and electric motors for supplying mathematical energy for motion control. A drive employing electric motion is called as electrical drives. Question 9. What are the various parts of electrical drives? Answer. Electrical motors and load power modulator sources control unit sensing unit. Question 10. What are various advantages of electrical drives? Answer. They are having flexible control characteristics. The study state and dynamic characteristics of electrical drives can be shaped to satisfy load requirements. Drives can be provided with automatic fault detection systems. PLCs and computers can be employed to automatically control the drive operations in a desired sequence. Drives are available in wide range of speed. Power and torque control gear required for speed control starting and braking is usually simple and easy to operate. It can operate in all the four quadrants of speed, torque plane. Electric braking gives smooth deceleration and increases life of the equipment compared to other forms of braking.